Unless you're already aware of another hardware wallet solution that has a self-destruct feature, I'd watch this video all the way through because the future is here. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Lake M Crypto. My name is Josh and I'm here to help you find digital liberty in the complex world of crypto. Remember that anything you hear in any of my videos is not to be taken as financial advice. Do your own research and own your own decisions. For a while now, Cardano users have been stuck with pretty much the two main options in the industry for hardware wallets in the dichotomy between Trezor and Ledger. And that is still the case, but it's about to change soon. The Keystone team was kind enough to send me their new Keystone 3 Pro, which I'm under no contractual obligation to open and review or do anything with, really. They just sent it to me. And uh, the least that I could do is open it up and take an honest peek. Those of you that watch my content consistently know that I don't like to do uninformed content. I will do my homework, I will open it up, and I'll take an honest assessment of what I'm looking at. And honestly, when it comes to this wallet, I think it's shaping up to be one of the most secure, if not the most secure, hardware wallet solution on the market. The problem that I have is that it's not currently available for Cardano users yet, but I do get to be the influencer that breaks the news to the community that this solution is coming to the ecosystem and it will be first integrated with Eternal Wallet, and I believe they're also working with Euroi Wallet too in the uh, foreseeable future. If at any point you like what you see in this video, I do have an affiliate link down in the description below, but since I know that a lot of my viewers are exclusively Cardano users, you're mainly purchasing for the future because there's nothing for you to do with this wallet at the moment. We'll break down some of the features that make this wallet stick out among the rest later on in the video, but first, let's do some unboxing. And here we are with the unboxing of the Keystone 3 Pro. Everything that you're seeing here is candid. It's my first reactions. Seeing this thing uh, out of the box, um, I did take off some plastic, but what I wanted to point out here is the, uh, the paper security strip here because a lot of other hardware wallets, they will come with just the plastic shrink wrap and that's easily replicated. That's not something that you couldn't just go and purchase off of just Amazon or anything like that. You can easily get that. But the, the security strip here tells you that it hasn't been tampered with. You know that what you're getting here out of the manufacturer packaging hasn't been messed with because this can't be replicated. This, you know if it's been torn. You know that, that this is sealed and safe. So that's that's a, a, a little thing, one of those those things that like, it's the details that matter that like people don't usually pay attention to. Uh, so let's get this thing open here. All right. You know, I, I had seen some other influencers review this product and, and they had gotten the uh, the customized logo on the back. Looks like this is just the standard packaging, which is cool. Like I'm not I'm not upset that they didn't like put in the extra effort for me, but like th this is what you'll see going into it. And I, I do like their logo. It's super minimalistic and sleek. Uh, it's, it's very nice. Got the fingerprint scanner there, which I'm looking forward to testing out. Um, and there's a little plastic wrap covering here that I'm gonna leave on. I'm, I'm weird like that. I like to uh, to leave the plastic on for as long as possible, at least until I can get a, a, a screen protector cover on it. Um, so the package comes with just your basic contents. Got USB-C wiring there, we've got A uh, little instruction manual, uh, different languages, that's nice. Multi-wallet feature. I'll go over some of this stuff a little bit later in the video here. Um, here, a little packet of uh, seed phrase tips, seed phrase, oh, a little, little 
slips here. These are these are nice, but like yeah, you know, I've recommended before. I like the uh, the metal steel plate ones uh, that you can engrave your your seed phrase on. Um, and I've got a little like etching kit for that that uh, I use to make sure that my seed phrases are kept in a a nice like secure fireproof medium. Um, so that's something that I'd recommend. I always put affiliate links for that one down in the description below. Uh, so if, if that's something that you want to up your security on, uh, I would definitely recommend that. It's like a few bucks for a, a packet of four of them. So I'd, I'd recommend that. Turn packing into a drawer. I might actually use this. This is supposed to be a little like sticky uh, thing to like hide your... your um, hide this guy here into a little hidden drawer underneath your desk. So you stick it on the top like that, stick it underneath your desk somewhere, and that's like just a nice little hide, hiding convenient spot for it. Um, and another thing that I do is like I keep all of my uh, crypto security stuff in a fireproof pouch uh, so you can still practice that with it. But uh, Let's see if we can power this thing up. Power button, power button. On the side there. One of the features that I read about as uh, I was looking through this thing is that uh, the battery life on this one is 10 times the capacity of the nearest competitor. So this one actually has has a, a reasonable battery in it that will last you some time. Uh, you don't always have to plug it in in order to get access to it, which is really nice. Um, so boot it up pretty quickly. One of the first things that you're supposed to do when opening up a hardware wallet is update the firmware. And the more secure way to do that is with a, uh, a uh, formatted USB-C slot that goes here. So that's, that should be the very first thing that you uh, get into, but yeah, I'm, I'm not actually setting this thing up for real uh, for my own personal use for this one. We're doing it for the review. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in here and select the language, English, verify your device. Okay, so what they want you to do is on a web browser, go to one. Oh, that's funny, slash verify. Okay, device verification. Verify for Keystone 3 Pro. It's gonna throw together a QR code here and you will scan it. And the device is verifying. Okay, this took just a few minutes for me to uh, to pop up. It'll provide you with this verification code to authenticate the device. And it will ask for the verification code on the web browser. Okay, verify. Authenticated, device is secure. Okay, and this is where the firmware update portion of it all happens. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and move forward with that because I don't know how long that's gonna take, so. Okay, now that we've got our uh, firmware updated, which actually did take like a 10 to 15 minutes, so just be aware of that and uh, you can set that aside for when you're ready to set up your own Keystone wallet here. You can create the wallet. It's gonna prompt you to set a pin code, which will be specific to this device so that you can access it. Uh, I'll set it up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, you know, you're gonna wanna set that to something that's a little bit more secure than that, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and 
get that figured out. You know, it's nice uh, what you don't get on cameras that like, you know, as you hit the buttons, it vibrates to register that, uh, that it, it did understand the, uh, it understood the assignment here. It's, uh, you know, the, the screen is, is smaller than what I'm, I'm used to. Cause you know, I've got a, I've got an iPhone pro max version. Um, so, but like it actually registers the keys relatively accurately here. I've got no problems. Well, okay. User error isn't gonna fix that, but now we've all seen how this kind of thing works. Uh, if you've set up any kind of like a uh, wallet, hardware wallet before, there's a standard seed phrase situation, but there's this, this really interesting feature here, the Shamir backup, that is an advanced procedure of storing your seed phrases that I was really curious about. Um, number of shares. I think it's a, a sharding mechanism that allows you to store portions of your feed, seed phrases in different places. I'm gonna have to do some more research on this one and uh, maybe in the next video, I will break it down as to how this mechanism works. Cause I was really curious about this and I found it really interesting. It was unique to Keystone's security standards, but for the, the purposes of this video and just getting it through, instead of going through something that I'm not experienced with, I'm just gonna do the standard seed phrase situation. Obviously check your surroundings, make sure that you're alone, this is private, and that you put it in a secure medium. Um, like I said, I like to do the, uh, the steel seed phrase plates, but, uh, but it's up to you how you decide to secure your seed phrase. Once you have your seed phrase backed up on a solid, reliable medium or something that you can transfer onto a steel seed phrase wallet later on, it'll bring you to this screen here, which it currently doesn't support any Cardano assets, but it will soon uh, once they develop their integration and it's supposed to come shortly and it will be compatible with Eternal first. And then I believe there's gonna be some some uh, integration with the Euroi wallet. And uh, I'm pushing for them to hopefully integrate with Jira wallet as well at some point into the future. But at, at the point that they do support it, uh, you'll be able to find different assets here that you can add or really the uh, connectivity to a software wallet. The Eternal wallet will be available here on this screen once, uh, once that integration gets gets uh, put forward in a, a future update. But that's coming very soon. And uh, once it is, I'm thinking that this might be a pretty solid viable option for Cardano users. I want all of my viewers to have access to the best possible cryptocurrency solutions, which is why I try out different hardware wallets and why I advocate for solutions like iTrust Capital. It is of course important to store your personal crypto assets under a secure non-custodial wallet solution, not your keys, not your crypto. However, if you're trying to get exposure to crypto with your 401k, or if you're trying to contribute regularly to a tax advantage account, like every personal finance expert recommends, but you wanna put it into crypto, using a digital asset IRA service like iTrust Capital is the only way to do that. So if you wanna make the smart choice like I and many other US residents have to play for the late game and secure crypto assets for the long-term future, then I've got an affiliate link for iTrust Capital down in the description below that will get you started with a $100 bonus and it will help support this channel. I appreciate you and now let's get back to the video. I've actually got friends that prefer full node wallets like Cardano's Daedalus over hardware wallet solutions because of the possibility that the wallet may have been tampered with, whether on the software side or the hardware side, before being delivered to your door. But that's not really a concern with Keystone for a couple of reasons, the first one being that the wallet is actually created on the device when you receive it. So before you receive it, there is no seed phrase to steal. It actually makes the old way seem kind of primitive to the point that it's, it's actually comical. 
unlike most other hardware wallets, and the only reason I say most is because I'm not thoroughly aware of all of the hardware wallet solutions out there, but this wallet supports multi-seed phrases. So on a Keystone device, you'll be able to support multiple seed phrases on the same device, which I think is actually more relevant on EVM blockchains because it's just because Cardano, even after they integrate with Eternal and Yoroi and they get exposure to this ecosystem, uh, hardware wallets tend to not yet have a whole lot of compatibility with most smart contracts in the Cardano ecosystem. That'll come with time. You know, we're still a young ecosystem, but once it does get integrated, you'll be able to use multiple wallets on the same device so that maybe you could use a decoy wallet that can be more liberal with different smart contracts that it interacts with, and you'll have a separate, more untouched, cold wallet off to the side that isn't being impacted by what this other decoy wallet is interacting with. This is, of course, assuming that Cardano is going to have a lot of the same problems that EVM blockchains are, which obviously it won't, and it'll probably have its own problems that it has to deal with. But uh, it's, historically speaking, Cardano has been far more secure than any other blockchain has. One of the more important features of the Keystone product line really, is that they are fully open source with everything that they sell. And it can be publicly tested for security vulnerabilities, and it has been audited by third parties over at Slowmist and Key Labs. That is an integrity move to not just be open source, but also be security audited by third parties. And I'm not sure if that compromises the competitive element that they're able to bring to the table. I'm not totally sure if their software is proprietary software, but even if it wasn't patented so that they could exclusively bring this to the market, they still have a lot of competitive elements when it comes to their hardware features. The single most interesting feature, in my opinion, is the self-destruct mechanism that prevents side channel attacks in the event that your physical hardware wallet is stolen. I'm sure it takes some substantial amount of technical knowledge to be able to extract a seed phrase from a hardware wallet's circuit board. But if anybody tries to do this with a Keystone device, the device is going to be wiped completely of any seed phrase information so that only the holder of the seed phrase will be able to access the crypto assets that are stored on that device. I think that this feature offers a lot of foresight, because I couldn't tell you how common this kind of attack or vulnerability is actually taken advantage of, but in a world where crypto sees mass adoption and there's a lot more people that are using hardware wallet solutions, this kind of feature is going to prevent a lot of people from, from learning how to even do this type of attack or, or exploit this vulnerability because it, it's pointless to understand how to do it through a Keystone device. This feature is something that brings that next level of security that sticks out in the industry for a higher level of security that nobody else is bringing to the table. This is the only hardware wallet solution in all of crypto that matches the payment card industry level of security that nobody else is bringing to the table, making it arguably the most secure hardware wallet in the industry. I've been looking for a new hardware wallet solution to support, and I can't really push for it full force yet because there's nothing for my audience to actually use before they integrate with Cardano. But you have to respect the sheer level of effort to bring a whole host of new features and a next level of security to the industry that's really principally based. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I've got some affiliate links down in the description below if you want to get your hands on this product and support this channel in the process. 
before they actually integrate with Cardano. You can use it on other blockchains if you want to, if you use them. I think that it would be a good solution. They've got some sick Black Friday deals that are happening right now that you can take advantage of if you want to get it before you're actually able to use it. I mean, you could use it on other blockchains if you want to, if you actually utilize any of those other solutions. But I'll do a follow-up video a little bit later down the line once I've used this product a little more, once they've integrated with Cardano, and we'll get a more informed perspective of how well this device uh, interacts with our ecosystem. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss any of my Cardano-based content every Tuesday and Thursday. As always, remember never to invest more than what you can afford to lose. Learn as much as you can about the space and play for the late game. Thanks so much for watching.